The view from up there must be quite a sight. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Climb up. All right. Look, there's a house in the teeth. Yes, some kind of uh, temple? Sanctuary, that's what I've heard it called. And now I'm even more curious about it. Sold. This is our first stop. It seems so nice. So we've got a magic bird, an ancient order of alchemists. The little one has visions. <laughs> well, just what else can I expect? Hugo's sickness is special. Our mother's an alchemist, but she couldn't do anything about it. It's almost like a curse. Who could curse such a cute baby? I'm not a baby. It's the bloodline. This thing goes back to the dawn of times. It's unfair, but this is real, Sophia. In Guienne, the Inquisition came after us over this. We barely made it here. It was horrible. They killed everybody. Damn. All right. We'll find what you came for. You have my word. Thank you. That's it. The path to the sanctuary. So we're done here for now? Yes. Let's go. It's going to be quite a walk. First to the top. Hey, easy. I don't want to carry you. Chicken. Are you tired? We've been walking a while. It's not as high as it looked. Don't be disappointed. We're not there yet. <laughs> Looks like someone's more tired than you. <laughs> I don't like mountains. Everything I need is at sea level. I like mountains. They're big and tall, so when you're on top of it, you're big and tall too. You know, it's his first time climbing one. Well, in that case, let's be big and tall together. Damn, it's getting hot. Oh. Look, we're almost at the sanctuary. Do you know what almost means? Come on, it will be worth the sweat. Look at the size of it. So what do you expect to find up there? I want to see the real bird. Or the tree. Or the pond. I'd prefer an elixir. Something to really help you, Hugo. Maybe the bird will have it. How can he run in this heat? Child skill. He can also fall asleep in a snap. Mm, it looks so fresh. It is. Just what I need anyway. Hey, Hugo, you have some dirt on your face. I'll get it for you. Ah! <laughs> Water attack! Hey! <laughs> Counter attack. The ruins, Hugo. All right, all right, all right. For I yield. You soaked me to death. I win. <laughs> <laughs> A sailor defeated by water. He shot me in the eyes. All right. I did it on purpose. <laughs> That's my brother. Talk about family. Well done, Hugo. I'll have my revenge. is huge. Yes. Carving that must have hurt. Oh, goats. There are a lot of me, sir. Don't be scared. They much prefer their olive leaves to little children. Yes, but they scream. I'm here. 
Well, well, well. Our fierce warrior is afraid of goats. There are too many. You're heading to the child sanctuary? We are. Oh, I'm afraid you're too late. They closed the gate, as you can see, for the ceremony. A ceremony? Oh, we came all this way for the little one. Ah, oh, well, that goat path to the side will take you closer. But you'll have to look from afar. The Count and Countess are up there, and the guards are on edge since yesterday's mess. They won't take kindly to uninvited guests. We'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Oh, by the way, if you stumble on Tramontan, please send her back here. This is one of my goats. We'll try. Good luck, then. I hope she won't attack us. Oh, come on. It's a goat, not a wolf. But they scream. Oh, oh they do. So they locked down the sanctuary. Just our luck. On the bright side, you don't lock a place down if it doesn't hold something important. Yes. I'm even more curious now. Listen. Is that the goat you talked about? Tremontane. Yes. She's here. <laughs> we should send you back to your owner. Goats. I stared in their eyes for hours when I was her? a child. That's what heroes do. All right. There may be another way in. This is turning into an actual rescue mission. I really hope she's nice. I'm sure she'll be thankful. In her own way. If she's not, we'll lock her up again, won't we? Don't worry. You have two strong women to protect you. Hmm. Hey, only you can do it. All right. My hero. Hey, he's so funny. Not all the time, ah, but... Quick, mostly. Quick. Yes. You did it. That was nightly. So, here's our fugitive. You saved her, Hugo. Want to say a proper hello? Hmm. I'll go with you. You've done the difficult part. Don't startle her and it'll be just fine. What if she screams? Screaming's not biting. Just say to yourself, it can happen. And that's all. I'll try. See? It's easy. They don't all scream. Yes. She's nice. All right. She's saved. You've overcome your fear. And I want to see that sanctuary. Let's go? Yes. Go. Your dad's waiting for you. She's not moving. She will. She's her own master. What do we have here? There wasn't any goat in your dream. No, but maybe there will be now. Who wouldn't want to dream of goats?
sorry to push you out, but the ceremony will begin soon. Hmm. Soldier. Oh, no problem. Make sure no trouble arises. Yes, we had enough violence yesterday. Climb up. The child must have hated it. We'll be especially careful. Don't worry. Good. Well, thank you, Arno. That was to be expected. <laughs> Mind the drop. Yes. What do we do with the last offerings? They stay here for now. We'll bring them up there after... Careful. Looks like they really like their privacy here. How will we cross that gate? There's no way I can attack them. We get jailed or worse. I have a trick. This prism focuses sunlight. It can scorch tall grass. You get smoke. You get any guard's attention. Wow. Let's try. Tell me where you want a guard to go. Tall grass only. The child knows. Yes. That's what's important. Try that one. You what? Nothing. Damn hot, right? These damn uniforms. You know the Count. He likes to keep it formal. Yeah. Yeah, well. Next time we'll ask to stand guard near the ruins. There's more shade, and I'd like to see the procession for once. Nightmare. We should walk a bit. On solid ground. Oh, all those flowers! That must be for their ceremony. Soldiers! The Soldiers, to cover quick! Open your eyes! Wow. Oh no, really kept them on their toes. Looks like we're crossing a line here. Getting spotted's not an option anyway. We'd either get killed or kicked off the island. Have they found more of Arno's men? Don't think so. But the Count's right to be careful. Mercenaries are scum. Bastards. Spoiling the most important time of the year. They won't. We'll make sure of it.
that smoke? Works every time. That may part is too crowded. Let's go around. Careful. Another false alarm. I knew it.
two. Let me check. Place is clear. Search the area. We've got company. you both. Up we go. Uh-huh. Everyone, it is almost time. Gather round, please. It's the Count and the Countess. It seems we're right on time. Hugo, look at this. Is it from the bird? It's up to you. I say it is. Then it would be honored that you wear it. Keep it for when we see it. Yes. I'll give it back then. Careful with the drop here. We're All right. still waiting for a few late comers. Uh, Feel free to come closer in the meantime. Late comers. I'd say that's us. What are we going to do? We'll... Think about it. Friends and children, today marks the longest day of the year. The light of the summer solstice shines upon us once again. And yet, in these cold hallways, Hidden from the sun, the child of embers still slumbers. 
It is time to bring the flame of the Phoenix. The Phoenix? To his dormant That's embers. Your bird. Thus will we prove that we deserve to care for him. Like mother. Like father. Let us pray together before we enter. What do you think? Bold, but believable. Are we dressing up? Open your mind and heart. It is now time to tell his tale. So that it is never forgotten. What do we do? Let's follow them or not. Huh? And do what they say. They mustn't recognize us. Yes, come on. Centuries ago, a child was born on this land. His heart was blessed by the sun, from which he inherited the flame that rules everything. And so was born the child of fire. What? His flame shone over the world. He blessed it with his perfume, his laughter, his joy. Of all places, Lacuna was his home. It became a land of life and peace. A place to heal, to thrive. Lacuna became a cradle of light. But light tempts evil. And evil knows no mercy. Come. A child on a throne, in an order temple. It's him, the child of Embers. Take your place at our sides. Please kneel. Evil found the child inside these very halls. It fed on his fire, weakened it, marked his flesh with coal black scars. His mother's arms couldn't warm him anymore. And so his light faded, almost entirely. And the child of fire turned into the child of embers. Lord. A dark era began. Men forgot about him, but we did not. This flame is the last gleam of his light. Our hope, and now two of you, a woman and a child, will carry it through his night. You! Your heads are bent. Your humility honors you. You will walk his flame through his darkest hours. Take it. You will walk in his steps. Know the cold that bites the flesh. The drowning in the absence of light. The uncertainty. You will see the child die through the eyes of his mother. You will be the victim and the witness. Keep that torch alive at all costs. The carriers have been chosen. Take your places. What do we do? We have to play along. Let's cross. Go forth and bring him the light. Much depends on it. This is unreal. It's those frescoes. The plague. They think it was caused by the child's death. So they don't know the macula? I don't think so. They interpreted all this. They made a god out of the carrier of the macula. Amicia, the water will put out the torch. I think it's part of their ritual, drowning in the absence of light. I'm cold. It's 
over. We'll soon warm up. <coughs> it was horrible. But you did it. I thought I was drowning. Calm down. You're fine now. No, I'm scared. The child is gone. <coughs> Just walk. I'm with you. He's, He's dying, dying in his mother's arms. Evil has won. Centuries pass. Famine, war, and plague descend on us. He dreams of fire reborn. I'm cold. You are back. I'm scared. Is gone. You are not alone anymore. The child must meet his mother again. His embers glow in the dark. I am the mother, and I welcome him. Pass it to me. You did well. The, the child, child must rise again. again. Hear me, child. I am not barren anymore, for your flame lives in me. I am the mother. Become the phoenix. The child of fire reborn. Join us. Blow on these flames. <gasps> May the breeze of life reignite his flame. 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 Elsie, wake on. Not for now. We all look the same. No kidding. A child's throne. He... he lived here. Their child of embers. There's no child of embers. I told you about the order. This place belonged to them. And this child on the frescoes? It's the carrier of the Prima Macula. The Prima Macula. This just gets better and better. Alchemists call it the first corruption. It awoke in Hugo's blood when he was a baby. It keeps growing inside him. And it's killing him. That's what this whole place is about. The advent of a carrier of the macula. The order gathering around him, studying him, trying to find a solution. And the uh, rats. Let me guess. Death, war, disease, and famine. Not only. The rats are... Anyway, they got it all wrong. There's no child of embers that will come and save the world. It's a fantasy they crafted to fit their hopes. All of it sounds like a crazy fantasy to me. Part of it is true. The part that can save him. The only part that matters. Basilius and Aelia. Nothing's changed. That water's not magic. The water? Oh, from the healing pond in your dream. 
It's like a symbol, like mother's alchemic drawings. Stagnating water is rarely magic. Hey, come see. That's his throne, and this, I think, is his name. Basil? He was a carrier just like you. You're not the only one. That's why you dreamt of all this. Something called you here, and for a good reason. I mean, look at this place. If there's a cure, it has to be here. And who is Aelia? It looks like there is more to this place behind here. Let's keep looking. Come, I'm sure there are extraordinary things waiting. Hmm. <laughs>